for people who are trying to choose between, say, yourself and so-called so moderate um, part of the Democratic Party, uh -huh. what, what, what would you say to us? Okay, so let me start, um, because I want everybody to know this about me. Whoever our Democratic nominee is, I am 100% on board and I will fight to get that person elected. I'm in. I'm in. Let's do the second part. And that is, we gotta win. That's what this is all about, right? You don't get to do good things if you don't win. And here's what I'll tell you about me. I know how to fight and I know how to win. Yes. Now, I've never been in politics before. Um, and I was asked during the crash to come to Washington. I served in the Obama administration, built a consumer agency, um, and the Republicans wouldn't let me stay and run it. Okay, that's fine. I went back to Massachusetts and took on a popular incumbent Republican senator and beat him. Woo! In fact, I am the only person in this race who has beaten an incumbent Republican any time in the past 30 years. I'll tell you about knowing how to fight and knowing how to win. I started out 19 points. There were still people on election day who didn't think I could do this. I beat him by seven and a half points. I'll take it. Can we just address it right here? Women win. The world changed when Donald Trump got elected. The world changed when he was inaugurated in January of 2017 and when the next day, the biggest protest march in the history of the world occurred. We now know that women candidates have been outperforming men candidates since Donald Trump was elected in competitive elections. And just one more, because boy, you know this one in Iowa. We took back the House and we took back state houses around the nation because of women candidates and the women who get out there and do the hard work to get it done. How are we gonna win this thing? We're gonna win it by drawing the distinction, the sharpest distinction between the most corrupt administration in history and a Democrat who is willing to get out there and fight corruption. Understand what's broken in this country is a whole lot less about differences between Republicans and Democrats. That may be what it looks like on TV, but the real truth is it's the difference between the guys at the top who keep calling the shots. It's the difference between all those folks who make sure we don't get any new environmental regulations, who make sure that nobody negotiates the price of those drugs, who make sure that we don't do background checks on guns, who make sure piece after piece after piece that their interests are served while America's working families just get the short end of the stick year after year after year. We run to fight for working people. We run to fight for our families. We run to fight for people who are trying to make it on a social security check and for people who are getting crushed by student loan debt. We run on that, we win. Thank you. That was great. Good question. For, for me, when I when I see her energy, when I see her commitment, and I was in the second row, so up close, and I feel her, her um, not just her enthusiasm, but her honest concern for the United States, for working people, it's contagious. Her clear, clear vision and her plans are what we need right now to beat Donald Trump.